I'm Mike Oliveira. I won Speed Society's 23rd sweepstakes, the last V, and this car is absolutely f***ing amazing. When I got the call, I thought it was fake. Uh, I, I, I have a business, so I get these soliciting phone calls all the time. We're actually calling from Speed Society, the grand prize winner of the CTSV V3. Woo! Yeah. What's up? No way. Yes, you are. I'm dead serious. We're serious. No, you're not. Are you, are you serious, bro? I'm about, to, I'm about to have a heart attack. We thought it was fake at first, but there's no way. There was just no way this was me that he was actually calling to win this CTSV Cadillac. There's no way. I don't win anything. And uh, it happened. Yeah. It happened. All right, so VIP experience is actually starting now. With quarantine and everything going on with COVID-19, we decided that we're gonna do VIP experience in Atlanta at Vengeance Racing. He's probably a good eight or nine hours away from there, but we're gonna get him transported up that way. This is gonna get transported, but the number one thing all you guys online say in comments and any of the ads or anything is, man, you guys did a burnout like this. Well, check this out. Right here, brand new set of Michelin tires. Just like we always say. So, these are the Pilot Sport 4S, their new tire, and it's going to be running a 295-30ZR19 on the rear and the 265-3519 on the front. Brand new tires, told ya. driven on just so you know they left the warehouse and came right here to go on the truck so brand new shoes Are you ready for this VIP experience or what? Yeah. Are you up? Yeah. I'm uh, brushing my teeth. Oh, all right. We're almost to the airport. Just calling you on to make sure you were ready and pumped. I'm awake, alive, ready, and pumped. All right. Mr. Mike Oliveira is going to have the time of his life, huh? He has no idea. <laughs> Cool, man. All right, we'll safe flight. I'll see you in a few. All right, I'll be right. here for like 20 minutes. Okay, later, man. Bye. Sam just left us to go get the Corvette. So we got another car 
and we are waiting for this AMG GT. Should be here any second. Alright guys, we're, we're here. here. Made it to Georgia. Atlanta. We got our Corvette Turo. Um, just picked it up. We're gonna Corvette. head to that lake house right now and meet up with Ron, Alex, and Charlie and uh, let's get this party started. Let's hit the road. Alright guys, we are in coming Georgia and we're gonna be rolling up to our Airbnb yep. pretty shortly here, half, half a mile. mile. Go. See what this place is all about. We've seen a few pictures. I've heard a few things. You know a little more than me. Yeah. So I found it on Airbnb, and it, it looks pretty cool. I think uh, all the guys are gonna be pretty stoked on it, and uh, it's got a, even got a boat dock. So. Oh my gosh! All right. Well, here we go. VIP experience number 23 and the lake's just right there. Hey! What up? This is the VIP experience right here. Wow, your car is gorgeous too. Man, what, what up? are you freaking, yeah, dude, what up? freaking out. killing that it? I think looks good, dude. Yeah, it's not bad. bad. It's a little sketch, but. Wow, it's got like two different batteries. <laughs> I can't believe this thing got a review. This house got a review that said, um, needs TLC. Yeah. <laughs> Alex and I were like, uh, yeah, must it was have like got old it. old and outdated. I'm like, yeah, I don't think it doesn't look like that in pictures. Yeah. Old and out nothing. I mean, holy cow, man. I guess we do a full tour around. Let's do it, man. Crib style. Cribs. Uh, in here, we'll see you all together at the same time. So we got portal. Yes. Where do you want to go, Sam? Mm, let's go left this time. <laughs> you have the camera right and then tell me left. That was tricky. <laughs> there you go. We got bunkers. Oh, yeah. My this is us, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can top bunk. <laughs> so much room for activities. <laughs> uh, Ron's here. Captain uh, Ron. Captain Ron. You're gonna have to trim way up and have to walk it in. Trim way up, he says. <laughs> hey, it's too shallow. Yeah. Yeah. I put this in the water for Speed Society. It has been dry docked all winter. All right, so yeah, Charlie calls me up and tells me that California is essentially on lockdown and uh, that they can't do the VIP experience for Mike Oliveria, who just won the car. And we're trying to brainstorm to figure out what we can do to pull this off and get the car to him. And it dawned on me, hell, let's have the VIP experience at Vengeance. Uh, Charlie was obviously on board, thought that was a cool idea, and put the ball in my court to make it happen. So, feel a lot of pressure, obviously, because I always want to come through for Speed Society. They've been great to us, and I always want to return that favor. So I wanted this to be an epic, epic experience for them, as well as for the winner of the car. Dinner time. Dinner, dinner, dinner time. We had to get kind of creative with this one because the pandemic, COVID-19, and things have been kind of crazy. Everything in California is still shut down. Luckily, Georgia actually opened. So, I mean, there's some stuff we can do. We actually went to a restaurant last night for the first time in God knows how many months. Like
don't know if he'll give him. Well, I gonna, wouldn't. I'll just go sit by myself. He's going to walk up from that direction. He's probably going to come to this side. Yeah. No, nah, he'll probably come by me and like push me into him, which he knows won't work. Actually, he'll sit there. I'll bet. I will bet that Mikey comes over here and Alex scoot over. I will bet. I mean, it's Hunter, or it's probably a solid 20. Anybody? I don't right. know him as no. well as you. No. Well. But it's crazy because so it's a liner. Yeah. All right, move down to the best spot. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <laughs> 80 bucks, thank you. Yeah. So, I'm guessing 50 days. How long has it been since you've been able to sit down at a restaurant and have food since the pandemic? I feel like it was like March, February, I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been a long run. I don't even, like, I watch TV and I see people sitting at a restaurant. I'm like, what are they doing, idiots? Yeah. <laughs> do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time in the restaurant also. I remember my last meal before everything shut down too. Where was that? Sushi. Oh, so good. Way China, go right? I knew it was my last meal. Way too. to go out. <laughs> I know. I went out with a bang for sure. Time. VIP experience, Mike Oliveira has no idea what's about to uh, hit him. We have a huge day planned. Stay tuned. We do not want to end up there today. <laughs> Goal number one, don't go there. <laughs> was super cool. I, I knew that they had like a absolute first class facility, but being able to see it firsthand. It's spotless. Dude, it is. And uh, the quality of work that they do, like I would be so comfortable getting this car with the power that it makes yep. and the work that they do there. What up, guys? What's up, Alex? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Morning, dude. Morning, morning, morning. morning. Come on in. What? What's up, man? When I got the Vengeance and um, I opened the door, I was just really in a different world. I, I mean, I, I was sweating underneath my armpits, my hands were sweating. Um, I, I, I was just, a lot of emotion was going on. I didn't really know what to think. Mike Oliveira, how you guys doing, man? Good. Awesome, man. Uh, Are you stoked? I'm, dude, I'm totally stoked. Like I, said, I got my armpits all ready to go. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not because I'm working out and it's hot, I'm just, the, the nerves, man, the anticipation's been crazy, man. Yeah. I can't even believe I'm here right now, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> it's real. Ah. Cool. So rad. Oh! What? <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Man. <laughs> In the flash. Man. Thanks, guys. This is <laughs> awesome. <man. laughs> you got it. Awesome, man. When I actually seen all the Speed Society guys there, I seen all the guys from Vengeance Racing and Ron, the, the, the guru guy. I mean, he's like a star to me. I mean, it honestly gave us all goosebumps just seeing his reaction to the car. Well, based on that, so I actually haven't ever personally been out to the headquarters for the experience to be able to see a winner firsthand, like receive their car or the cash and goose, like goosebumps is yeah. one thing, dude. Like I straight had tears in my eyes. Yeah, like, this dude. was, this was an experience for me too, honestly. I mean, it's honestly like the highlight of our jobs. Like there's nothing that compares to it. Like you can't explain what you see until you're there. Is this like real, man? I mean, are you guys like bullshit me here? I, mean, I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
get a f***ing speedy ticket. <laughs> you pumped or what? Dude, man, I just don't know how to act. I'm just so in shock and awe, man. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You know, I got to really look at the car, you know, online at the videos and seeing what you guys do like on an everyday basis, man. And you guys are the bomb, man. If anything goes wrong with the car, it's coming back here. It ain't going nowhere <laughs> else, but it's coming back here. So it's awesome, man. A lot of sweat, a little blood. Yeah, man. Just gosh, man. I'm I'm just shocked right now. Just in shock at all, man. It's just a hot looking car. It's gonna get done. I'm signing the title to the 2017 CTSV Cadillac that I never thought I could win. Karen, you even told me I wouldn't win the car, remember? Typical Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so, start, I'm gonna take you for a ride, so fill out the car, okay. and then we're gonna eat on I know your ride's ready. I see your ride's ready, so I'm ready to go for a ride. All right, let's go. <laughs> Stoked, man. I can't wait, man. This is awesome, man. Right. Say it. This is awesome. The front end sits kind of low, so you have to do that. Right, right. Take it easy. It's got everything. This thing's wow. fully loaded. Wow. So all your car van, everything. So. Yeah, just feel it out and uh, enjoy. Oh my god, I can't believe we have this car. <laughs> if I was on a heart murder right now, we'd be going to the hospital. <laughs> Your freaking heart rate is going like a mile a minute right now. Your freaking palms are sweating, armpits are sweating. We won't talk about the private section. <laughs> <laughs> First reaction, man. That's awesome. Awesome, dude. I am just totally stoked with this car, man. And this is what I wanted. This is like this is yeah. what I wanted, you know. I mean, you had the GTRs on there, you had everything, but it's, man, I'm okay with that. But I'm 47 years old. I yeah. like a little bit of luxury, but when I want to get my foot on the gas, I want to be able to go too. Yeah. Sweepstakes. Is that right? Speed Society Sweepstakes. Man. 
Mind if I take a picture of it? Go ahead, man. I was so much on emotion, I, I cried. I mean, I, I really did. And these guys made my dream come true today. This is my dream car. It's always been my dream car. And now I own it. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you walked in there, everybody was in a circle and it just kind of, it was almost like surreal. Like you walked in there and boom, you see your car and you just see all the vengeance, all the Speed Society members just surrounded the car and just, Congratulating you, and you know nobody else deserves it. Well, what was really cool is I didn't know there was that many people there waiting yeah, on me. Know you know what I mean? I, I thought there was like, going to be a couple people waiting to shake my hand and congratulate yeah. me. It was but a whole crew. Everyone was Everybody there. Was there. Everyone was there, yeah, man. Sure. So I was completely stoked, and I'm going to be stoked for a long time. I will always remember this day, and not just for Speed Society and Vengeance Racing, but most of all of you. I love you, brother. <laughs> It's extremely cool to me for somebody like Mike to come through the doors and, and win this car. It's our hope that the guy is, is a cool guy, that he's a car guy. It's humbling that he knows who Vengeance and Speed Society is, uh, especially Vengeance. Uh, you know, you really, you want somebody that appreciates your work and your dedication to what's going down and Mike fit the bill tenfold. All right, so phase one, full effect. We just uh, left Vengeance with Mike. He uh, already drove his car, we took him for a ride, and now we're off to Atlanta Motorsports Park to go go-karting. Mike has no idea, and this track's out of the world, so uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm like, yes. Yeah, so I originally thought that we were gonna do some sort of racing, but I didn't really know on what we were going to do. And so it was still a surprise all the way until we got to the front door. I really, really didn't know. And they told me, well, no, we wanna pull the CTSV Cadillac all the way to the front. You go all the way to the front. We go all the way up and they back us in their little thing. And uh, the car is a complete attention getter. Uh, people looking at the car, congratulating me and whatnot. Hey. Back stretch right here. This is where you're going to reach the top around 55, 60 miles per hour. We have three main races. Guys, Ron, you're in number 18. Ned, you're in 24. What's up guys, we're at AMP Kart Racing, Vengeance Racing set this whole VIP experience up. Ron killed it. And we are out here on a huge elevation change, so this should be a lot of fun. Here they come right now. It got pretty wild out there on track, safe to say, right? I've been to a lot of kart rentals. That was the raddest kart track I've ever been to as far as show up, hop in what they've got, put your helmet on and let them rip, and it was gangster. Yeah. You know, every time we go karting, uh, and we try to make it a semi-habit just because it's so cool up there, uh, I'm one of the slower guys, not for lack of driving ability, but because I'm a heavier guy. Uh, 
So I, I kind of had to pull some strings yesterday and, and make sure that I got one of the carts that was at least on par with some of the faster stuff that was out there. But the experience is, is awesome. You get out there and you are doing 40 foot drops in elevation. You're taking U-turns at 30, 35 miles an hour. The, the competitiveness of having a bunch of car guys, you know, the amp hosts, anybody that wants to ride go-karts, but when you get car guys out there that are all racers, not, not show car guys, but true racers and enthusiasts, uh, the level of competitiveness is very high. And we had 20 people out there racing on that track, and it was, it was absolutely epic. You know, it was everything that you would expect and more. We did, I don't know, a couple practice runs, and then we did, uh, uh, they, they have your time that's put up. And uh, I did pretty good. I had all the Vengeance guys and all the uh, Speed Society guys, I think we were like five, fifth and sixth as far as our times go. So we were hanging tough. And I guess at the end, um, the top 10 advanced to the Grand Prix. Top 10 is going to do the Grand Prix. And then people at AMP set us up with the real track if we want to go over there. So depending on the plans, because we do have Tail of the Dragon planned and he doesn't know that, uh, we're gonna play it by ear, but this is so awesome. I mean, these guys are incredible out here, but this track, oh, wow, next level. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make some laps around Atlanta Motorsport Park. Park. Okay, yeah. The actual and road course. Dude, that was gnarly. seats which are very friggin comfortable. Very comfortably cool. amazing yeah. just comfortable heated seats I mean you can drive for miles with these but anyway he gets in the car and he gets on it and just the just the sound alone made my goosebumps come up there they put me in the back of the seat and I was like oh my god this thing is ridiculous back into Dawsonville. I'll find a fuel station big enough for all of us to fit in. We can top off, grab a water, whatever, and then we're gonna head north. More elevation changes up and down, yeah. blind turns. It was so sick. It was super cool of those guys to let us out there yeah. also. And they were awesome. They were, man. And that place is like absolutely top notch. 
And it's a country club for race yeah. cars. Well, that was like like really good to like get us primed up right for the trip, you know. Through. Dude, I was a little too primed up. I like pulled out of the track and I was like hammered down. Experience. We were going to go to the Dragon's Tail, but we couldn't go there because it was raining. So we decided to go to Blood Mountain, gave us a little taste of everything. Some twisties, some real tight twisty corners. And uh, the Cadillac handled like a dream on the Michelin tires. I mean, we just, we had a real good uh, hell ride. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, some nice twisties. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, kept us on our feet for sure. Last but not least, I have to say thank you, Vengeance Racing. Thank you, Speed Society. Thank you for all the sponsors that are on the car, Michelin, for the great rubber that we have on the car. Um, I, I'm just, thank you everyone that has put in their hands and their time into making my dream come true because that's what you did, is you made my dream come true. This is an awesome car and I'm gonna have this car for a long, long time.